All right, game players, we have created our account. We've got that all set up. We went through the walkthrough tutorial. Now we've uh, been assigned to Gryffindor, which I, uh, I brought in from my linked account already from the Wizarding World. And now we're about to take a little trip around the common room and check out our own room and make sure that we know who's what and where's what and everything else. I don't know if there's anything that we can do inside of here, inside of our bedroom, but I'm gonna check that out first. This is the Wizarding World Legacy game, brand new by Warner Brothers. Alright, and in this particular quest I have to find the Gryffindor common room. Which should be easy, because it should be right down the stairs. I'm guessing up the stairs is something else. Now, which way is the common room? So we can go upstairs to get to the common room, it looks like. And then go back down. <laughs> Other people's bedrooms. Check out their trunks. got a level 2 lock on it. Got a nice little balcony overlooking. Oh. Level one lock. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that your Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, oh, yes. yes. Having, a, Having spot a spot of trouble. Of trouble. I've, I've mastered, mastered the charm, charm using this incantation. But this is it's proving a bit trickier. trickier. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get it we'll in, the in the end. end. Oh, I oh, hope so. so. If, if I can, I can get, get it, it, Professor Roman's, Roman's sure, sure to be very impressed. I'm, I'm just going, going to keep at it. Is it really, it really that difficult, that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you, and if you don't, don't get it just right, 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 the results can be, can be shall we say, say awkward. Once, what? I tried I to cast, cast Depulsa non-verbally non on a goblet in, in the Great Hall, hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. happy. <laughs> 
Do most, most students, students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. all. Hogwarts, Hogwarts doesn't, doesn't teach non-verbal, non-verbal casting, casting until the sixth, sixth year. year. And even, and even then, then, many struggle with it. I'm simply I'm trying, trying to get ahead of the game. Well, well, good luck, good luck. It, was it was nice, nice to meet you, you Cresta. You, you as well. well. Enjoy, Enjoy your first day. day. I would really like someone to try it. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you're in figural right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend, friend of Professor Figs. Oh, oh, didn't mean didn't to pry. Mean to pry. Nasty oh, business, business dragons. dragons. Again, Again, very, very glad, glad you're here. here. Thank you, Thank Gareth. <laughs> so am so I. Are you Are related you to, to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends, tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there, based on some reactions that may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you have a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganworld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was well, nice, it was nice meeting, meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your own. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. So Gareth is into potions. And and he's the Weasley. Yeah. Interesting. Potato! <laughs> I'm sure you'd use them. 
wonder how I'm supposed to get up there. That girl thinks she can get away with anything. Shame you weren't born with wings, Nelly. Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. Odd spire. Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, I'm Nelly, by the way. way. Nelly, Nelly Oxfire. I've, I've heard rumors about, about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Is it true? It's about about the, dragon? the dragon? It's true. It's true. No, I, was I was almost, almost killed. killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. How, How awful, awful for you. you. And of and course, course, that poor man, man from the ministry. ministry. But, but still, still, you got you to got see a dragon. Anyway, anyway, you've certainly, you've certainly brought, brought some much-needed much excitement, excitement to Gryffindor. Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, and Hogwarts for, that for that matter. So the background you can see is is a little fuzzy in the back, which is okay, I guess. The, the, the wallpapering that they're using during the middle of your conversations isn't too bad. It's kind of nice to... Uh, uh, to not have as an object because that just means it's going to be a little bit faster so that's kind of cool i take it you're not afraid of heights mm, it's something it's i've something always, always done, done since, since i was little, little. my, my mother once found, found me on the roof when i was five, five. Still, still has no, no idea, idea how i got, how there. I got there but, but with, all with all the strange, strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds you don't need to scale the tower to see something incredible here What exactly, what exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you, that you escaped, escaped a dragon, dragon attack? attack? <laughs> Isn't that, that enough? enough? Most of us arrive by a train or boat, boat. not, not having just escaped escape the jaws, jaws of a dragon. dragon. <laughs> of course, it's, it's got, got people, people talking. talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've, and I've never, never heard, heard of one attacking a carriage, carriage like that. that. Not, Not enough meat, meat in a carriage, carriage I, think. I think. I'm sure I'm I'll sure be seeing, I'll seeing you around, around. either in our common room or when you scale, scale your next tower. tower. You never, you never know. know. Bye for, Bye now. for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. All right, so I finished introducing myself to certain people, and now I guess we're just going with the professor. Grab a little snack for the road. Oop. Looks like we can play some music. Check that out before we go. Might need that for later. Good morning. Good morning. I trust, I trust you're, you're ready, ready for your first, first day at Hogwarts? Hogwarts? I've been, I've been dreaming, dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you, well, you are, are here. Make the most of it. You only you have, have one, one first day at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Now, now, in light of your, your unique, unique situation, situation joining, joining us in the fifth year, year you'll, you'll need to need catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Yes, yes, your ordinary, your ordinary wizarding, wizarding level exams. They will they determine, determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After, After much, much discussion, discussion with the headmaster and, and the Department of Magical, Magical Education at the Ministry, ministry we've, we've devised, devised something, something extraordinary to ensure, to ensure your success. <laughs> here you yeah. are. It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource.
Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. This way. The guide, the guide will give you opportunities, opportunities to practice your magic, your magic and educate, educate yourself about wizarding law. Wizarding law. I, I certainly, certainly would have appreciated, have appreciated something like the field guide when I was, when I was a student. student. Using, Using the guide, the guide will, will also train you to be alert to, to your surroundings. Do keep up! Ha! Ah, the, the guide appears to have some information, information for you about that, that painting of poor Barufio. Simply Do cast Revelio on, on it and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. Clever, Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your Keep eyes open, open for more opportunities, opportunities like, like that, that. Inside, inside and outside, outside of the castle. Of the castle. No, time no time to waste, to waste. you've classes class to attend. To attend. Get around, get around a bit quicker. quicker. Your, Your field, field guide, guide contains, contains a map of the castle. castle. Open it up and find the central, central hall. hall.
And here, and we, here are. we are. Quite, Quite the time, time saver. saver. These, These stairs, stairs lead, lead directly, directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always oh, something, something happening, happening here. here. It's the it's heart, the heart of, the of the hive. Our oh, King's Cross Station, so to speak. You're brave, though, aren't you? I've seen you in her That, that should, should be, be all, all for now. For now. You'll be You'll expected be to attend both, both charms, charms and, and Defense against, against the Dark, dark Arts classes today. And I'd, and I'd like, like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, Charms, Jinxies, all terribly useful. I think you'll enjoy Professor Roman. He's a clever, entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become warers. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many butter beer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Wesley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fink succeeded in at least showing you the basics. Yeah, the basics. Revelio and, and protection and attack. That's literally it. Well, no, but he was supposed to be teaching me shit before of that, too, and those are the only ones I know. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume, I presume Professor Fig has, has his reasons for keeping, for keeping the details, the details to himself, himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must, must have been burning. Oh. Yes. yes. You, you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, there Professor. They've a rare aptitude, aptitude for magic, magic it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm well, just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly Perfect good goats good and carriages to Hogwarts, and you and chose you to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't I say I chose the dragon's, the dragon's path, path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. us. Very well. Enough, Enough chat, chat, chat. chat. I need to I get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck, Good luck today, today. And, remember and remember to use, use your, your field, field guide. guide. It will be, will be invaluable, invaluable to you. And, and invaluable, invaluable to me, as I'll be using, using it to keep up to date on your progress. progress. Yes, Professor. Yes, Professor. Come, Come and find me in my classroom, classroom after you've attended, attended both classes, classes today, today, and I'll and explain I'll more about, about those assignments, assignments I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies.
It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels, sir. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle proof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guides map? Unfold it and have a look. The map, the map is enchanted, is enchanted to, help to help you find, you find your, way. your way. This will be this will incredibly, incredibly helpful. helpful. Thank, you. Thank you. Now, no, it sounds, sounds like you've like quite a day ahead, ahead with classes, classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, supplies including, including your own wand. wand. You'll enjoy, you'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's, He's an exceptional an craftsman and a good friend. friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious rocket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your powers may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yeah. Well, this game is going to be all about achievements, so... I think you have to get them in order. Oh, you have that one. Thank you. 
Oh, I see what it's going to be. You, you're going to have to have a couple of these creatures, or one of these creatures, as well as whatever these numbers are, but I don't know what those numbers are for yet. Woo, right out. Oh, ho, ho. So the thing popped up and then it went away. That was weird. There, there it is. You get to do your rebellion. Rebellion. Yeah. And every time you see Glimmer, you gotta do that. Yeah. Because that's his specialty. That unlocked something. Yeah, you completed a guide of some sort. You're close to it. We don't want to.
So now it looks like we're going to get to practice stupefy, maybe do some uh, attacking. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878, no doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso, Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprise opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Croat? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the elite of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Now, now, let's try, let's try something, something a little larger. larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dump deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Now, now, the basic, the basic cast. cast. Well, well done. done. Very, Very good. good. But, but the best, the best way, way to practice, practice is by duel. duel. We'll start Stop. with you. you. Duelists, take, take your marks. Time for a proper one to work Now, now I, I want to fair to you, you using the Levioso so basic, basic cast. cast. And, and Protego. You may you begin. begin. Protego. Protego. Complicated. <laughs> what are you what doing up there? You're good. You're good. Now we're safe. Thank you. This is not the first time. Let's just say that. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Bell. I think you can join my mind, too. Let's go. 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 Watch your opponent to decide to attack or defend yourself. Not bad, beginner. You, you give as good as you get. <laughs> I put, I put you in the spot, spot and you rose, rose to the challenge. To the Points, Points to Gryffindor. To Gryffindor. Thank, you, Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad, Glad to have the opportunity to practice. practice. If what I've seen today is, is any indication, we can we expect, expect great, great things, things from you. I, I demand, demand excellence, excellence from my students. students. 
They, they are, are capable, capable of achieving, of achieving it, it, and they, they must achieve it. it. A classroom class duel is, is one thing, thing but battling dark, dark wizards, or as, as ever more likely, likely goblins, goblins, is a is different kettle of Grindelow's entire Understood, Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Salon will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate's interview. If you, if know, you the know the right, right spells, spells, it's dark, dark wizards, wizards that'll, that'll fear, fear you, you not, not the other, the way, other around. way around. Nice, nice work. work. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that. that. Well, that well, duel was quite, quite something. something. Everyone was talking, talking about, about it. it. It was it's certainly good practice. practice. Practice? It felt it more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way. I didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've judged enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you want. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned. unsanctioned? I don't know. I don't know. School rules were in place for a reason. reason. Yes. yes. To keep, keep students, students in the dark. dark. So, so many, many things we're deemed unprepared to know. To know. If you want to get, to get the most out of your time, time, time at Hogwarts, Hogwarts you're, you're going, going to need to break, to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret Julian club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep I'll that keep in mind. mind. Good. Good. Pleasure, Pleasure chatting, chatting with you. I'm sure I'll, I'll see you soon. Perhaps, Perhaps somewhere, somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see, we'll see if your if performance your today was sheer luck or actual, actual skill. skill. Look, Look for Luke and Brattleby near, near the clock tower, tower entrance. entrance. If, if you're, you're interested. interested. Till next, next time. time. Sebastian, he's strong competition. Well done. Uh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly.
truly had a hand. Professor Roman tends to go on a bit. I love just running around the school, it's pretty cool. Here! here. Behind, Behind you! There is an there open, is open seat, seat here. here. Thank you. Hello, Hello. I am Nettie. So, so you are, are the new student. student. Have you met Professor, Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charm. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charts. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> Do you, Do you even, even remember, remember how to perform, how to perform a, basic a basic summoning charm? Hmm? 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 Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone, Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's, now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and, and take turns turn summoning, summoning them out of one another's hands. hands. Only, Only one, one will be needed by partnership, Miss Dale. Dale. Thank you. Thank you. Get into Get place, place now. now. Potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always, I've always found, found that fun, fun goes, goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so why don't we have our new students start us off? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Akira. 
That's it. Stay focused. Excellent control there. Don't lose your composure. Very good. Happens to the best of us. Very good. Points Point to, Gryffindor. to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. I remember, I remember how I felt when I first started. I tried to hear from Wagner. Yeah, you gotta stop that right around the beginning of 30, by the way. If it goes anywhere past that, you Before fall off the edge. We had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagner do much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagner School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So, yes. 
bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. All right, looks like this is going to end this particular video here pretty quick. Um, I do want to just have you guys know that Hogwarts Legacy is probably a game I'm going to be playing a ton of over the next uh, several weeks, obviously. Uh, so feel free to come back and check it out. Um, I will be doing a lot of voiceovers as well with some of the things. And as I get uh, trophies, obviously, I'll post those as well. Um, if you haven't played the game um, or started playing the game, you can download it um, for uh, PS5 or you can get it in... Uh, uh, Steam as well right now, so you know, good luck with that, guys. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes, but I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes, I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Roller wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. All right, so that's going to finish this particular video before I go any further. I um, hope you guys have a great day. Feel free to subscribe and like if you like this video and uh, if you'd like to see more of them. Thanks.